Hi, and welcome to another episode of NV Insight. I'm here today with Dr. Christina Lindenmeyer, and Christina is on our hepatology team. Um, and she's been doing some really interesting things over the last couple of years while she's been with us. So maybe, Christina, you talk a little bit about your background and uh, some of the things that you're doing. Sure. Well, thank you for having me, Dr. Delaney. Um, I am a transplant hepatologist in the Department of Gastroenterology, Hepatology, and Nutrition. And a few other hats that I, I wear, I am the co-director of our a uh, very interesting and unique medical intensive liver unit, which is a liver specific intensive care unit. I'm also the co-director of our gastroenterology and hepatology uh, curriculum for Cleveland Clinic Linder College of Medicine. So why did you pick hepatology? Well, I think for like for many of us, it was about mentorship for me. I went to medical school after being very inspired by working um, on some oncology projects in college. I went to medical school wanting to be a pediatric oncologist spent a year doing projects in pediatrics and then met a wonderful, very caring and humanistic transplant hepatologist. Um, he was the director of our clinical curriculum for the second year at, at Jefferson Medical College, which is where I trained. And quickly just visualizing how he interacted with the medical students, how he interacted with patients, how he demonstrated what cognitive complexity uh, plays a role in the practice of transplant hepatology. I, I very quickly fell in love with the field and, and never looked back. Oh, good for you. That's certainly a, a field where you can accomplish a lot for some very complex patients. I agree. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So tell me about this medical intensive liver unit because um, you know I think it's got the opportunity really to change how we manage and define patient care for these complicated patients. So maybe the audience could, could hear a little bit about that in your talk. Absolutely. So we have a very unique unit here. It's the only medically focused liver intensive care unit in the country and, and probably in the world. And we're very proud of it. Uh, we opened the unit on August 27th of 2018 and since then have cared for more than 800 patients with both acute and chronic liver disease. It's a special unit in that we're focused on the medical care of pre and post transplant patients. We focus on multidisciplinary guideline based evidence based management of these patients. It's a co managed unit, which is unique. So we share decision making with our medical intensivists. All the patients are grounded on every day by a transplant hepatologist and also a medical intensivist and work very closely with specifically identified consultants from other medical specialties such as transplant surgery, nephrology, cardiology, neurology intensive care, which makes this a very coordinated and intense place to practice intensive care medicine for this very special population of patients. And then the other great thing with it is that the patients are co-located for nursing and you get a lot of expertise in the nursing side of practice as well. Absolutely. So we think actually our best benefit comes from the education of our support staff. Um, and our consultants. So we have a very um, uh, localized unit based in our medical intensive liver units. Um, we have trained special, we've developed special training programs for our nursing staff, for physical therapists, for nutritionists, occupational therapists, and for pharmacists. And in this way, we really hope to optimize and standardize the care of patients with advanced liver disease in the ICU. So I know this has been a passion of yours for a long time, and you had a vision that you've been putting together and have put together. And um, so, you know, maybe tell people a little bit about your thoughts about how to structure this going forward. And if somebody says, my gosh, that's a great idea. How do we do that in our hospital? Where, where should they start? Well, I think it comes with from passion and relationships throughout the hospital. So this wasn't a, a single institute standing up this initiative. This was definitely a cross-institutional, multidisciplinary effort. Um, this is something that we identified as a, a big unmet need in our hospital and in general for this very special group of very sick patients. Uh, looking back over time and in our own group of patients, uh, the mortality rate for patients with severe acute and chronic liver disease was almost unexpect um, unacceptably high. And in the field of liver disease, we have very few liver-directed advanced therapies. And so we felt like we needed to come together as a multidisciplinary team to find ways to improve survival uh, and to provide bridges to transplantation. The best way is to to form relationships with partners throughout the hospital. So uh, when I came here for my fellowship back in 2014, I first met Dr. Anshul Kapoor, who's my partner on the medical intensive liver unit side. Um, and we began doing research together and together came up with this idea of, of standardized subspecialty care in the intensive care unit. 
Uh, it took a lot of support from leadership and buy-in from medical operations, from our nursing institute, and so it was truly a multidisciplinary effort to stand up what we think is a very special unit. Yeah, well, that certainly uh, changed the care a lot of patients are receiving and some of the early uh, outcomes and things like that that you're sharing are really excellent. So that's exciting. So what about the relationship with transplantation? Do you think, is it that more people now are getting better and not going to need transplantation or you're saving people who you're getting towards transplantation or a bit of both? A bit of both. I think both are very important. So um, looking back over 2019, we did more liver transplants than we had in previous years. And the medical intensive liver unit was actually a very important point of contact. About 30% of our patients who underwent liver transplant in 2019, in some point in the year prior to their transplant, were hospitalized in the medical intensive liver unit. So this is an important point of contact to be able to optimize their pre-transplant status, their nutritional status, their physical conditioning in an effort to improve their post-transplant outcomes. On the other side, not that we don't want patients to get transplants, but patients shouldn't get liver transplants unless they really are in need of them. So specifically in patients who have a syndrome called acute liver failure or an acute insult to their liver that causes a multi-system failure, essentially. Uh, we hope to improve transplant-free survival for this group of patients with some novel liver-directed therapies that are coming out. And we've seen improvements in our transplant-free survival specifically in this group of patients. That's, that's exciting. It really is. So um, what about people? So we see a lot of transfers here. I just saw some numbers. We got 20,000 transfers to this hospital main campus last year, which is, yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's uh, 50 plus a day. Um, so what are the right kind of, because not every center can have something like the medical intensive liver unit. So what are the right patients to transplant? What are the right considerations and stages um, if people at hospitals that need this kind of care say, hey, let's send this patient and let's see if we can help them. Sure. What kind of patients do you accept? What's the right stage? How, how do we help them? Well, we like to see patients as early as possible so that we can make early interventions to make them the best candidates for liver transplant that they can be. So really, patients in all stages of cirrhosis, anyone with cirrhosis and a complication of portal hypertension or other complications, pulmonary complications or liver cancer would be someone that we would want to meet sooner rather than later. And on the other side of the spectrum, patients with decompensated cirrhosis who are critically ill or patients with acute liver failure who need to be in an intensive care unit are patients that we would like to be seeing. We see a lot of transfers from other hospitals for patients who have multi-system or multi-organ dysfunction, which is a specific group of, of patients that we're able to serve here because we have wonderful relationships with consultants throughout the hospital. So patients with cardiovascular disorders who may need a combined, for example, valve surgery or a coronary artery bypass graft at the time of liver transplant. Those are patients that we would like to be seeing in our unit in an effort to optimize them before their, their complicated transplant. Super. Well, thanks for reviewing everything that you've done. That's really impressive, so congratulations. And uh, thanks for being with me here today on MD Insight. Absolutely, thank you for having me.